Guys, I cannot overstate my hype for Super Mario Maker 2. Just in that one Nintendo Direct, it went from being, oh look, that's a game that's coming out this year, to literally one of my most anticipated games that I can remember. The last time I was this anticipated for a game was Mario Odyssey. And you guys gotta remember, I was unbelievably hyped for Mario Odyssey. So this, seeing that a game in such a short time frame has gotten me this excited, it's really ridiculous and a testament to just how much content Nintendo has managed to shove into Super Mario Maker 2. However, I have, I mean, I, I've made, like, I've recorded, like, multiple videos of me just, like, ranting about how excited I am for it, just because I, I need to talk to people about this game. Like, I'm just, I'm so unbelievably excited. However, I scrapped all of them because none, none of the videos were interesting. I don't think they brought anything new to the table. So, I channeled all that energy into something productive, and I have five reasons that I think Super Mario Maker 2 will overperform even the high expectations that we have for it in terms of sales or in terms of quality or in terms of anything i just reasons why mario maker 2 will overperform like maybe things maybe these are things that people are overlooking in regards to the game or just things that i think people are understating or not not talking about enough but these are five great things about super mario maker 2 that are reasons why it will overperform even our high expectations What's going on guys, it's Thomas from the Switched Up and welcome to these five reasons. No more blabbering, let's just get on into it. The first reason is the online Mario multiplayer. Now, obviously, this is this is kind of the most obvious reason. Everyone knows about this. This was a main focus of the direct. So why am I bringing it up in this video? Well, it actually occurred to me that this is the first ever time in a mainland Mario you can play co-op or even versus like this. Obviously, you've got your spin-offs, your Mario Karts, and even your Super Mario Parties, but in terms of mainline Marios, this is the first one to feature multiplayer to this degree. Sure, there was something like uh, Super Mario Odyssey that had the Luigi's Balloon game minigame, but that was just that, a minigame. Mario Maker 2, this is the game. You can play these levels multiplayer in the new Super Mario Bros. Wii style. That's game changing. There has never been, even in New Super Mario Bros. Wii or New Super Mario Bros. U or even the deluxe port to the Switch, there was never a way to play a mainline Mario game with someone else. If you wanted to play a mainline Mario game, you two would have to be in the same room as each other. Now that's not the reasoning anymore. Like this is this is not only is it game changing because it's Mario Maker and you can play any level you want in 2D Mario, but just in general, this is the first time you've ever been able to play online 2D Mario with other people. Like there are people that I can't play local multiplayer games with, whether it's my cousins who live too far away or friends I just don't get to see very often. Now literally any of those problems are solved. That's insane to think about, and while obviously online multiplayer is a main focus of Mario Maker 2, and I don't want to say that that's like something people haven't been talking about as much, I haven't seen anyone mention that this is the first time Mario has ever been multiplayer to this extent, at least mainline Mario, and that's really, really exciting to think about. Okay, now moving into spot number two, the rest of these are going to be a bit more um, understated, not as many people are going to be talking about these. The next one is going to be curation. Now, I this is a really interesting one. So, in Super Mario Maker, now you have the option to boo levels, or downvote levels, and obviously, that is kind of a controversial addition to the game. I've seen some people say that's a bad idea because you don't want to discourage younger creators or people who are just testing stuff out and don't really know what they're doing because you want to reinforce people with positivity and all that jazz. And while I do believe in that, and I believe that in terms of if you're going to give constructive criticism, a boo isn't really helpful because it doesn't say what you didn't like about the level, it just says you didn't like it. In all of the uh, footage we've seen for Mario Maker 2, there's never been a level that had a negative like count. So from my perspective, that means that boos or dislikes might work kind of how they do in Reddit, except you can't get into negative likes. So therefore, all a boo does is 
like undo a like which if that's true which is how it looks that is a really good thing because all that does for fans is increase the curation of levels so that we can see what levels are better and most importantly people playing in the endless Mario challenge will get better levels because you're able to downvote a level that means that whoever's playing something online if you're in a random Mario challenge I don't even know if you can skip an endless Mario but say you're doing a no skip you have less of a chance to get just an utterly garbage level because let's be honest those sorts of levels do get uploaded i mean a lot of times it's either little kids or people just screwing around and end up uploading something but that does end up happening and while obviously it's fine we don't want to discourage that that's why i'm saying like these negative uh these boos or whatever they're called shouldn't they, you shouldn't be able to like uh, go into the negatives to say hey this is a objectively bad level it's useful for the game itself to know what levels are good or not so that it can recommend the best and increase the playing experience for everyone number three is kind of similar to number two in that it's all about making the levels better overall but in this case instead of changing the way the algorithm recommends levels this is a new tutorial in a sense. I always thought that tutorials in level creators are boring. They're so incredibly tedious. I don't want to learn about all this. I just want to get making or get playing. And it seems like Mario Maker 2 solves this issue amazingly well. There is a new story mode that Nintendo highlighted in the direct and there are over a hundred courses in this mode. These courses are made by Nintendo and will show new players exactly how to use blocks to the highest degree and, and it'll show new players what looks professional, what isn't professional, what's just a stupid thing you should never do. Even if Nintendo doesn't lock specific parts behind these levels, like uh, so they don't make it so you can only use... I don't know, a, a boo if you play the boo story level. I like even if they didn't do that, these story levels will still increase the skill of all creators who adventure through the story because not only will people get ideas from these Nintendo created levels, but it's just good to see, okay, this is what good level design looks like. And then, well, people can do with that what they will, but I'd assume that people who just played through over a hundred courses made by Nintendo, arguably, or, well, no, not arguably, the best Mario course designers out there, that will increase the overall quality of the levels online, and that is a great thing. The next thing that has me incredibly excited for Mario Maker 2 that not many people are talking about is DLC. It already looks like there is so, so, so much content coming to this game, and that's because there is. However, even in the original Mario Maker, we got new stuff. Not even talking about the amiibo costumes that we got continuously, there were a ton of other things added. I remember the checkpoint flag wasn't even originally in base Mario Maker. On top of that, there were other enemies, blocks, and whatnot added that was just overall amazing. and. I'm pretty sure they, they haven't confirmed it, but I'm pretty sure that we will be getting new stuff in Mario Maker 2 as well. Nintendo has been leaning into DLC a lot recently, and with a game as big as Mario Maker 2, where its predecessor got free little updates here and there that were all incredibly well received, it just makes sense that Nintendo will end up putting out free little updates here and there, which definitely makes me more excited for this game. On top of that, there is still another theme that is pretty much uh, guaranteed to be added because of that empty space and all that. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. But that is an empty space that could have been, obviously, probably was just empty for the Direct so they didn't reveal it prematurely. However, it could be an empty space that is empty even up until release, then afterwards that comes as DLC. Hopefully not paid DLC, but regardless, new content is new content, and I am extremely excited to see what new content Super Mario Maker 2 gets, given that there's already so much in the base game. Okay, last but not least, this is kind of the reason that inspired this entire video because it's a really big one that no one's been talking about, but Super Mario Maker 2 is going to have one of the best communities out of any Nintendo game. Now why is this? Super Mario Maker's community is absolutely amazing. I have been going back and re-watching some of my favorite Mario Maker streamers or level players play and the, watching stream highlights and all that just in preparation for Super Mario Maker 2 and 
I forgot how, like, kind and nice this community is. Everyone has such a great time. And remember, this was, this is Mario Maker 1 on the Wii U. A ton more people are going to play this game because it's on the Switch. And on top of that, Nintendo's terrible copyright policies back from 2016 or 2015 when Mario Maker came out are no longer in effect now as they were well, they were abolished in December of 2018, meaning that a lot more creators, including myself, will also be able to upload Mario Maker content this time around, whereas last time when the original Mario Maker came out, we weren't able to upload that content because we were we were fearing our channels being, uh, our, our videos being claimed and striked and whatnot because Nintendo didn't want free promotion. Now that Nintendo has gone away with their creators program, it's a lot more... It, it, there's going to be a lot more content on YouTube and a lot more people in the community. While obviously more people in the community does probably mean more negative people in the community, I think that gets outweighed by the fact that there are going to be so many more brilliant minds exploring this game and pushing the mechanics to their limits. Based on the fact that the Switch already has a way bigger install base than the Wii U, and there's just so much more to do in this game, and the community is going to be allowed to upload more videos without fear of them being claimed, I believe that there are going to be some incredible uh, mechanics created by the community, like troll ideas, um, troll things, because like, it, like there was a functioning calculator built in Mario Maker 1. In Mario Maker 1's relatively primitive level editor for a 2D side scroller, someone made a functioning calculator. Like, let that sink in and then see all the stuff we're going to be able to do with Mario Maker 2. Given that Mario Maker 2 has literal binary blocks, those on-off blocks can just function as binary. And they have all sorts of applications, including the on-off like rails and the conveyor belts that can go faster. There is so, so much more content here, and this community is bigger now, so it will be able to push it to its absolute limits, and we will be able to find so much in, within this game. It is just unbelievably exciting to see where the Mario Maker 2 community will go when the game releases. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I am unbelievably excited for this game and I'm sure you guys can all tell that, so let me know and like the video if you are excited as well or if you just enjoyed the video. Thank you guys all so much for watching, I'm Thomas from the Switch Stop signing off, peace.